The Great Sheep Shenanigans, written by Peter Bentley and May Matsuka. The Great Sheep Shenanigans. A lamb for my supper will taste mighty fine, thought an old wily wolf by the name of Lou Pine as he sneakily, slyly snuck up on the flock. But it wasn't the sheep that were in for a shock. He chuckled, <laughs> how stunningly cunning I am, as he slunk through the hedge and met. Rambo the ram, scram, bellowed Rambo, vamoose, steer clear. Wills are not welcome, buzz off out of here. What I need, grumbled Lou, is a sheepy disguise to give those dumb muttons a nasty surprise. So he wrapped himself up in a fluffy white gown that belonged to Ma Watson, the best shop in town. He lay on the road to get covered in gunk. Bah! laughed the sheep. It's an overgrown skunk. Bah. At the fair, Lou saw folks eating floss on a stick. Oh, a fleece out of floss. What a fabulous trick. He flicked on the switch and at first it was fun, but faster and faster and faster he spun. He looked in the mirror and his heart and felt his heart sink. He ended up dizzy and sticky and pink. Lou found a thicket of blossoming trees. Down came the blossom and down came the bees. I know, sputtered Lou. I have a brilliant plan. It's time for a trip to Red Riding Hood's grand. Hello, Granny Dearest. It's me, Little Red. My word, what a big ball of wool, Granny said. Who dropped his hood and declared, all the better for you to get cracking and knit me a sweater. And if it's not done by the time I get back, I'm just in the mood for a grand flavored snack. The very next day, Lou returned for a fitting and had to admit Gran was dandy at knitting. He chuckled, how <laughs> smashingly dashing I am. Tonight, I'll be scoffing a tasty young lamb. But Gran thought, he'll pay me for knitting that woolly. I'll play my own trick on that nasty big bully. So while Lou wasn't looking, she grabbed a loose thread and tied it at once to the end of her bed. As he slipped through the hedge grub, some youth standing near looked up at Olu and said, morning, my dear. Can you check on on lambs? They're behind that big tree. No problem, said Lou. Just leave them to me. I fooled them, thought Lou. What a genius I am. Now I shall have cutlets or roast of leg, or roast leg of lamb or chops and mint sauce, ooh, or even lamb stew, or burgers or musica, or lamb vindaloo. Mm. He hungrily hurried as far as the tree and hurried and peered down, but no lambs could he see. They must be here somewhere. They can't have gone far. Come out, little lambkins, wherever you are. And then he heard footsteps. Aha, here's a lamb. So Lou turned around and saw Rambo the ram. He aimed his big horns. He aimed his big horns at the wolf's derriere and sent him skedaddling up in the air. Ouch, my behind, howled Lou as he flew and landed curse black in a big pile of poo. I think that's the last of the wolf and his wiles, laughed Rambo. And from now on, we'll smell him for miles. P. U. The end.